Hello Rail fans and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today we're going to be building the CP Rail GP30 locomotive. And this is what it looks like here. So let's get right into the build. So we're going to be starting off with the rear coupler. So take out a dark oak stair and attach that up. Under it we're going to put a sideways dark oak vent skate. Then on the next block forward, in the middle on the upper hitbox, we're going to put a single black stone brick slab. On the side of this, we're going to put two backward facing black stone brick stairs on either side of this slab. Then on the next layer, a black stone brick block in the center and two upside down stairs on either side of that. Then. We're going to swing around in front of this and do a three block tall T-shape of black stone brick block in the center. Then we'll put a torch on either side of the second layer. And then we need to come in and grab quartz slabs. And we're going to put three quartz slabs on this side and three on this side. In front of this, we're going to do a five by three of black stone brick block coming out to each side of the tracks. Then we'll come behind this again. On the top middle back here, put three black stone brick slabs on the upper hitbox in the middle. Then we're gonna come down and we're gonna open a dark oak vent skate on bottom above each rail. Then we're gonna put two sideways end rods here and two sideways end rods here. Then on this top middle, we're gonna put a glow item frame on either side and a fence gate in the center like this. Then we're gonna come in front of this and put a fence gate on each rail. In front of that, we'll put another right wheel on each rail. Then in the center, we're gonna do a black stone brick block, then a black stone brick slab. Then two fence gates, then a black stone brick slab, and a black stone brick block. Then we'll put another right wheel here and here, and a fence gate on the front of these two wheels. Then we're gonna grab a lightning rod and in the space between the wheels here, we're gonna put four sideways lightning rods here and then four on this side here. Then we're gonna take out a hopper and go through and put a hopper on the side of all four of these wheels. Then we'll crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. Same thing over here, put a wither skeleton skull on each hopper over here. Then take black stone brick block and we're gonna do a line down the middle on top of this to the front where these fence gates are. Then a full row of fence gates on the side of this and a full row of fence gates on this side. Then we'll come on bottom right in front of this and we'll go three wide in the middle with black stone brick block. And we're gonna extend that down the center and make it 11 blocks long. So a three by 11. Then on the side of it, we'll put a full row of upside down black stone brick stairs. And then a full row of upside down stairs on this side as well. Then we'll come on the second layer. And on the second layer, we're going to fill the top middle three with black stone brick blocks and bring that to the front of this. Now we'll do the front truck, so come in front of this and put a fence gate on each rail. In front of this in the center, a black stone brick block and a slab, then two fence gates. Then a black stone brick slab and a block. Then take out another right for the wheels, one here and here, and same thing on this side. Then put a fence gate on the front of these two wheels up here. Then between the wheels, we're going to put four sideways lightning rods on either side. Then go through and put a hopper on the side of all four wheels. Then we're gonna crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And same thing over here. Then we'll come up top 
with black stuff or black and do a line down the middle until it's aligned with these fence gates. Then a full row of fence gates on the side up here. And a full row of fence gates on this side over here. Just like that. Now we're going to come in front of this and we're going to do a five by three of black stone brick block coming out to each side of the tracks. Then in front of that, a three block tall T-shape in the middle and put a torch on either side of the second layer. Then we're going to put three quartz slabs on this side, three on this side. Then in front of this on the bottom, three forward facing stairs and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Above that, a black stone brick block in the center and two upside down stairs facing forward on either side. Then three upside down stairs on the top middle. Then take a dark oak stair, turn around and stack it up to this middle second block. Under it, put a fence gate sideways, then open a fence gate above each rail. Then we're gonna put two end rods here and two end rods here. On this top middle, we're going to put a glow item frame on either side and a fence gate in the center here. Now, we're going to put a single black stone brick block on the front of the fuel tank here and here. Then we're going to put an upside down black stone brick stair facing forward here and here. And one upside down stair facing backwards here and here. Then we're going to put a mangrove button on the side and then the same thing over here. Behind this, we're going to do two sideways dark oak fences and then a line of anvils to the back of the fuel tank. And same thing over here, a line of anvils on this side. Then we're going to come back here and we're going to crouch. On this side, put a brewing stand. On this side, put a fence gate and then open the fence gate. Then we're going to come and stand up here and crouch and we're going to put a single deep slate tile slab on all four of these hoppers. Then we're gonna take deep slate tile stairs and we need an upside down stair facing inward backed up against each hopper here. And then a T shape of upside down stairs in the middle. So it makes this M shape. And we'll repeat it over here. So an upside down deep slate tile stair facing inward against each hopper. That was tricky to do. And then a T-shape of back-to-back -back stairs in the center. And then we'll repeat it up front. So come up here, get an upside down stair facing inward on each hopper. shape of back-to-back -back stairs in the middle and an inward facing stair against this hopper and then one more corner to go we're going to repeat that same process on this side here then we'll come out in the front and crouch and put a single deep slate tile slab on all four of these hoppers then we're going to come out on the side here and we're going to put four dark oak trap doors up here and two fence gates on the middle. Repeat it here, so two fence gates, four trap doors. Then of course we'll do the other side, same thing over here. Then one more corner to go, do the same thing up here. Then we're going to go through and put a skeleton skull above all four wheels up here. And we're going to do the same thing at the back and put a skeleton skull above all four wheels up here. Then we're going to come up here and crouch and we're going to put a sideways lightning rod here and here. And same thing on this side. Then we'll repeat it at the front. So come up here and crouch. Put a sideways lightning rod here and here. One here and one here. Now we'll come up on this third layer and start at one end. And we're going to go three wide in the middle with polished black stone brick block. And we're going to bring this all the way down across the top of this third layer. And we're going to bring it right down to the other end of the locomotive here. Then we're going to take out polished blackstone slab and come on this upper hip box and start on one end and do a full row of slabs coming across the top here. And we'll
we'll do the same thing over here on the upper hitbox. Simple row of polished black stone slabs coming across the top, going in to end up here. And now the base is done, and we'll come back up to the front. Now come on top of the front on the third block in and do a pattern of white concrete like this and make it three blocks tall. Then we're going to come to the back on the third block from the end and do a pattern of three white concrete like this and we're going to make this four blocks tall and then a layer of red concrete on top of it. Then we're going to come back up to the front here with our red concrete. And on this side we'll do two columns of three. Then we're gonna put two here, then a brewing stand here, a red concrete behind it, and one on top of it. Then three red concrete here. On this top middle, fill it with red wool and put a temporary block here. Open a trap door on it and take out the block. Then come up here and crouch and put a red banner on the front of this trap door. Then come down on the bottom here, put two red concrete here, two on this side. Then behind it, we're gonna do four red shulker boxes in a single red concrete. Then start at the back and do five red concrete coming forward above this. Then on this other side, we're just gonna do four red shulker boxes here. Then we're gonna start here and do five red concrete coming back. Then at the back, a red concrete, then two white concrete, then a mangrove door. Then we need to turn forward and get a mangrove door going forward right here. Then we'll do two light blue stained glass panes and a red concrete here. Then on this side at the front, we do a red concrete, two white, a mangrove door, and a backwards door here. Then two light blue stained glass panes here and a red concrete. On the top of each side, we're gonna put four outward facing mangrove stairs on either side. Then we'll go ahead and fill the whole top of this cab roof with red concrete. Then we're gonna come down here and crouch and we're gonna put two red banners over this door on the side to hide it. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side, so come over here and crouch, and we're gonna put two red banners over this door on the side. Then we'll take a white stained glass pane and put one on the side here. Up here on this top middle, put a red concrete and a red stained glass pane on either side of it. Then up here, three mangrove trap doors like that. Then we'll come down back here. So we're gonna come to the back in front of this white concrete and do two columns of four black concrete on either side. Then in front of this, we're gonna go four high with red concrete and we're gonna bring it forward all the way up the side here. And we're gonna bring that right up till it's behind the cap right here. Then we're gonna do the same thing on this side, one block in from the outer edge, and we're gonna fill this whole side four blocks tall with red concrete here. And bring that down to the back here. And actually I forgot part of the logo, so we're gonna come right here, and we're gonna knock out this column of four on each side. And we're going to change that on each side to a column of four white concrete. Then in front of this, we're going to change these two middle ones to white. And then same thing on this side here. Then we're going to come on top of the back, put a red concrete in the middle up here. And then we're going to do a line of eight bedrock coming forward up the center. Then at the back, we'll put three iron bars. At the front, we'll put three iron bars. In the middle, we're gonna do a set of back-to-back -back mangrove stairs. Copy it over here, so in the middle, back-to-back -back stairs. Then three iron bars here, and three here. Then we'll come in front of this and start filling the top three wide with red concrete. Except when we're behind the cab, we're gonna put one row of red concrete here. Then three deep slate tile walls on either side red concrete in the middle and fill in the rest. Then on this side only, we're gonna come down on this walkway behind the cab and we're gonna do a line of mangrove slabs coming back. And we're gonna stop above this first back wheel right here. We're gonna come on top of this bedrock section at the front, do a plus shape of mangrove slabs. 
skip a block and a daylight sensor in the middle, then skip a block and another plus shape of mangrove slabs. Then we need to grab a dead horn coral fan here. And we're gonna put one in each of these plus shapes. Then we're gonna come on the side of the top, one block in front of the iron bars and put a mangrove slab sticking out on the top of each side. So one here and one here. In front of that, an upside down backward facing mangrove stair on each side. Then three outward facing upside down deep slate tile stairs on either side. In front of that, an upside down forward facing mangrove stair on each side. Then we'll do a line of four mangrove slabs on the top here and four here. Then we're gonna come over on this side only, behind the cab, and we're gonna do a four by three of red stained glass panes right here. Then we're gonna come up top, aligned with these deep slate tile stairs in the middle and make a plus shape of mangrove slabs. Knock out the center, put in bedrock, then a dead horn coral fan. Then one block from the end here, we're gonna do five mangrove slabs coming forward on the side. And same thing over here, stopping one block before the back. Then in front of this, in the middle, we're gonna put a cauldron, then two mangrove slabs on either side of it. In front of this, we're gonna do a three by five of mangrove slabs coming across the top. And then up here, we'll go three wide with mangrove slabs and one in this front middle right here, just like that. Then we're gonna put a bell on this front middle up here. And then we're gonna cover the top of the nose here in red carpet. Just like that. Then we'll take out black carpet and we're gonna put one here. Then come around this corner, a T shape on the front, come around this corner, and two here. Come behind right here, we're gonna skip one block back from this, start here with black carpet, and come all the way to the back. And then around this corner. Then a T shape on the back, then come around this corner, and across here. Then we're gonna come in and we need to grab a ladder. And we're gonna come back up over on this side. We're gonna put two ladders right here. Then we're gonna put two on the side here, two on this side here. Then we'll do our railings to take out a birch fence. Right here, we're gonna come up four. Here, we're gonna come up by three, then over one and up two right here. Same thing on this side, so here up four. Here we go up three, over one, up two. Then we're gonna put two mangrove fences here, two here, and a chain across the gap. Then we'll put a mangrove fence here, come up one, then back two. Then come over on the other side here with mangrove fence, put one right here, come up one, back one, up one, back one. Then we'll come to the rear end with birch fence. And on the back here, we're gonna come up four. Here, we're gonna come up three over one, up two. Here, we're gonna come up four. Here, we're gonna come up three, over one, up two. That two mangrove fences here, two here, and a chain across the gap. Then we'll grab our mangrove fence again and we're gonna connect it up right here. And we're gonna start bringing it forward all the way up this walkway here. When we get right here, we're gonna come up two and then forward one up here. Then we'll do the other side. So we're gonna come on the back here with our mangrove fence connected up and start coming forward with it right here. Then we're gonna stop right here, and we're gonna put one on top of the end there. Now we need to make some banners, so we're gonna come into a loom with a white banner and black dye. And we're gonna make four separate banners, and we're gonna do one of each of these triangles on all four of them. So all four of these triangle patterns. 
and then one with a black diagonal like this. Then we're going to come up right here, and we're going to place two of these triangle banners like this, one right side up, one upside down. Then we'll come to the other side and use the other two banners and do an upside down triangle and a right side up. Then take this black diagonal one and we're going to stack three on the white concrete here, three here, and three here. Then we can clear these banners we made. And now we're going to come back in to a loom with a black banner and red die. And we're going to make the top half red. Then we're going to do a white banner and red die and do a diagonal. And we're going to come on this back corner and we're going to stack three plain black banners here and then the one with red on top on the very top. Same thing here. So three plain black banners and then the one with red on top up here. Then we're going to come up on the nose with this red diagonal and we're going to put two here, one on bottom here and two here. So it looks like that. Now come back into a loom again, this time with a red banner and white die. Put a vertical on the left, horizontal on the top and bottom. New banner, vertical on the left, top half white. New banner, vertical on the left, diagonal, top half white. New banner, a vertical on the left and the right, then a horizontal on the middle and the top. New banner, vertical in the center. New banner, vertical on the left, horizontal on bottom. Then go to red die and we're gonna put a red border on every single one of these letter banners. Then we'll come place these. So we're gonna come up on the side of the locomotive here, right in front of these stained glass panes. And we're gonna put CP space rail. Then we'll do the other side. So we'll come over here and we'll start here and we're going to put CP space rail, just like that. Now we're going to come up front with a plain red banner here, and on the side of this white concrete, we're going to put two red banners here, and two right here. Then we're going to take a frog light and put one on each of these glow item frames, and then on the middle of the nose, a glow item frame with a frog light up here. Then we're going to come up here, and we need to grab a dark oak sign. And on either side of this bell, we're going to put a dark oak sign with our number 5,000. Same thing on this side. Then we'll hit both with a white die and glowing sack each. Then we'll come down to the rear end. Up here, we'll put a dark oak sign on either side of the top with 5,000. We'll hit both of those with white dye and a glowing sack each. Then in the middle, a glow item frame with a frog light. Then grab red carpet and come on top of the back here. Put one here, here, and here. Come up here and we're going to get around and in between all these fans up here with red carpet. And then we'll fill all this in with red carpet as well. And then this C shape right here. And now we're going to do the interior, so we'll come on inside the cap here. And at the same level of this door, we're going to fill the floor in with smooth stone slabs. On this back metal, we're going to put two blast furnaces, then a stair here and here for seats. Then we're going to grab a netherite block and put one on the middle with two levers here and here for the control stand. And now the interior's done and we'll come back out. And actually I don't like this white gap in here, so I'm gonna knock out these two middle blocks and change them to black concrete. And we'll do the same thing on this side. We're gonna change these two to black concrete and that destroyed the bottom banner, so we'll have to remake those. So come back into a loom with a white banner and black dye. And do one with this triangle and one with the opposite triangle. Then we 
can come up and replace those banners. So this one goes here, and then the opposite one goes on the other side, right here. Then we need to come back into a loom with a black banner and red dye, and we're gonna put a red border on, and then make the bottom half red. And this is for the cab window. So we're gonna come up and place that right here. And there we have it, folks. We finally completed our CP Rail GP30 locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.